Hey, it's Johnny Craig, and you're on Rock Forever Magazine. Hey guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine, and I am here right now with Johnny Craig. How's it going today? It's doing, uh, it's doing really good. You know, I love being in Florida. I haven't been here in uh, almost three and a half years, so. Mm -hmm. Considering we're in the land of Disney World, have you been a tourist today? What have you been up to? Um, we we got here a little late, so we just been setting up, and um, we had a, a guy on the tour with us who was helping us with a lot of the technical stuff, like lights and stuff, and he. Uh, he peaced out to go home to his wife, so we've just been picking up the slack, everyone together, and we're trying to, uh, you know, just work everything out. So I haven't had much time to do anything, so. I got you. Well, your EP, Find What You Love and Let It Kill You, is out right now. Interesting title, by the way, but what inspired the album artwork in particular? Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in the Illuminati, so. I mean. Straight up. Um, <laughs> That's not gonna it, cause any controversy. Not at all, not at all. <laughs> But uh, the title of it is actually a Bukowski quote, so. Okay, very cool. And now we have a fan question here from Kayla. She wants to know what genres inspired you on this release. I mean, I wouldn't say a genre has inspired me, but as an artist, I've always felt that I was more soulful and more like R&B. And I feel like that's what I always brought to my bands, like Amorosa and Dance, Kevin Dance. So, I mean, like I, said, I wouldn't say that I picked a certain genre. It's just, I, I just have a very R&B style. That's okay. the kind of music I grew up listening to as a kid, like Motown and stuff like that. So that's just where I get my vibe, and I always try and incorporate that into everything I do. Absolutely. And what is the message you want to convey to your fans on this EP? Is there a particular message you went into this, recording it, and wanted to send out to people? Yeah, I mean, it's. I wouldn't say there's like a straight message. I just want this EP to kind of put it out and let let people know that I'm back. Like I'm here. I'm here. I'm here to fucking stay, and I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do to stay here. And I feel like this EP is just a, a a huge stepping stone, a connector for my for my full length that's about to come out, and that's that's going to be the real the real the real business where you know I really get into the addiction stuff, I really get into the heartache and the problems that I have. Like the EP is just a little bit of a teaser for you guys that you helped me pay for. Yeah. So this next full length that I will be paying for myself, you know, we're gonna we're gonna put it all on the line. Amazing. And can you give us any details on the full length? When can we expect it? When are you going to be working on it? Yeah, any news yet? I mean, we just started working on okay. it, so I wouldn't... Oh, I can't I can't <laughs> even pretend like there's a date, because in my head, I'm like... Okay, well, but, it will happen eventually then. Of course, of course. Oh, sooner sooner than later, that's, that's my motto, so... Absolutely. And on the EP, there's one song called Diamonds that stuck out to me. Um, what was the inspiration behind that one? Uh, you know, it just... It, it kind of goes into the addiction stuff. You know, the lyrics are, you know, it's it's not in the comeback, or it's in the comeback, it's, you know, it's not the fall. And, um, you know, it just it just kind of hitting the surface with my addiction problems. And, it, you know, it was, a, it was a great beat, and I felt like it really deserved a kind of uplifting feel to the song. So I, I want to say it's not, like, super serious, but it's a, it's, it's a really good song for me to sing to help me kind of express myself. And like I said, a lot of the songs that will be on the EP or the full length are not gonna sound like Diamond, but they're gonna have that same kind of uh, that same kind of vibe where um, you know you're gonna you're gonna get all the lyrics that you need. You're gonna get everything out of it. You're gonna understand what I went through in the last seven years that I've been touring and playing music for you guys. Yeah. So do you think writing about these sort of real life situations is it more for people to relate to you, is it or is it more like therapeutic for you to write about this kind of stuff? I would say it's it's a bit of both. Um, you know, when I when I write music and obviously when I play music, I feel like I'm in my zone. I feel like there's only one thing that I'm supposed to do in life, and that's just express myself. And then there's moments where it's like, the only thing I can do is, is play music and express myself because I'm going to fucking freak out and kill somebody if I don't get it off my chest. So. Yeah, please keep playing music. <laughs> yeah, please. I, yeah. I got it. And um, for anybody who hasn't heard your music yet or doesn't know too much about you, what song in the EP do you think they should listen to as a first impression? Uh, there, there's a lot of great songs on the CD I feel. I love the EP. Me and Captain Midnight put a lot of work into it. You know, Kyle Lucas helped a lot, you know, on writing and stuff. Like, he really gave a lot of input. You know, one of my favorite songs that we I don't even get to play on the tour is uh, Jesus Died For You and Not Me. And that's actually a really deep song for me if you listen to the lyrics. There's a lot of them like, you know, it's, I'm pretty much fighting a battle in my head. And, uh, you know, it's that's a song that I wish that I, I could play every day because it really explains a lot of things that I'm going through at the moment. Uh -huh. 
And now before this solo project, you were in quite a few different bands. Yeah. So considering tour life and the, the creative process with the CP, how is being a solo artist different from being in a band? What's the vibe like? Well, being in a band, there's like six people, five people, and I got to give input to each and every one of them. Being my, a solo artist, being by myself, I can pretty much just literally do whatever the fuck I want. Whenever I want, however I want, and that's just how I feel I was meant to make music because, you know, obviously you want to work with someone and they're, they want you to do something and you're like, I don't really feel that. I'm, you know, I'm not, I don't like that. And in my head, I'm like, well, this is still the way I want to do it. Being in a band, you got to make a lot of compromises. Being a solo artist, I don't have to make any compromises. I know it sounds a little selfish, but I don't have to make any compromises and I can just make what I think is, is the most beautiful for each song. Yeah, and what about tour life? I mean, you're, you get to live in close quarters, going around the country, sometimes even the world. Yeah. So what is it like being a solo artist? I've been touring for almost seven to eight years. So this is, this is I know like the back of my hand. Like I know how to do everything. I know what to do. I know how to cope with, you know, getting in, you know, altercations with people you tour with. You just gotta, you know, you gotta suck it up. You gotta let it go. I just, I know how to do a lot when it comes to the touring. So. I mean, being a solo artist, it's kind of cool also because there's less people in the van and I get to sleep a, <laughs> exactly. I get to sleep a lot more. So. <laughs> well, I guess that's a big perk, first yeah, of all. Yeah, it is. Definitely, when you need to sleep, it's good. So. But it, it's cool that being a solo artist, you get to do whatever you want. You know, yeah. you're, you're passionate about what you're doing and you're loving it, so that's awesome. Yeah. And I, I feel like I might know the answer to this already, yeah. but hey, never say never and Isles and Glaciers come back. Do you think that would ever happen? I know that would make <laughs> fans very happy. Yeah, I mean... I get asked that question a lot, and to be honest, it's not really up to me. I, I would love to, but you know, obviously, Pierce the Veil, you know, they're going doing big things right now, and obviously, they got you know they got time for their friends that they tour with. So I don't know I don't know what Craig Craig Owens is doing and where where he's at, but I know they're touring as well. So it's just everybody's schedule, you know. I mean, we would love to see that sometime. So you never I mean, know. I heard they were gonna make another CD, but I wasn't gonna be a part of it. So. Then it's not Isles and Glaciers. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> and we actually got a fan question. This is sort of relevant. If you would ever do another song with Pierce the Veil, I know a few, few years ago you did a song yeah. with them. Well, I mean, I would love to. Mike and Vic are my, I used to think of them as some of my best friends. But, um, you know, all, I'm not going to say anything bad about them. I love them to death. And they really do deserve all the hype that they're getting right now. And, uh, you know, I think that that's, that's important. They just need to focus on themselves. and. Uh, you know, maybe, hey, I'm, I'm still around. Maybe you could remember the person that you used to tour with when you were a kid, and, you know, I'm here. Well, Pierceville's Sorry. watching this. I think another collaboration is in the works. All the people that I, all the people <laughs> that I thought believed in me, they're not even around anymore, so. Well, you have new people here who believe in you. You're going to have a packed course. show tonight. Lots of amazing fans here for you, for sure. But for a lot of people who may not know you yet, or not know you too well, what do you think is the biggest misconception about you that you'd like to clear up? A lot of people think I'm the dick. And I'm actually really not an asshole. Um, you know, a lot of people, they take pictures with me and they're always like, why can't you smile? Why can't you smile? Um, it's because I just have really bad teeth, <laughs> literally. And uh, <laughs> at the end of this month, I'm actually getting all new veneers, implants. So hopefully when I get to heavens, I'll be able to smile. And you'll understand that I actually do want to smile in the pictures. I'm just a little self-conscious and that's all. I mean, as soon as I met you, you were such a nice person. So I think that clears up the misconception right away, and especially in this interview. You're awesome. So there's that. And what are your plans for right after this solo tour? What can fans expect from me right after this? Um, like I said, I'm going to get my teeth fixed. That's, <laughs> that's my number one priority right now. And then after that, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to let the EP do its work. Let it, um, hopefully, let, let, give it a chance to let more people listen to it. And then I want to maybe do some support tours where I'm supporting a couple different artists that I, I wouldn't normally tour with. You know, maybe do like a, a second or third spot on like, you know, a random tour where, you know, I wouldn't really be the ideal person. So I think that would be cool to maybe okay. like be on a circuit tour, or something like that, you know, yeah. something that you wouldn't really see me on because I want to kind of switch myself from being in like the post hardcore screaming stuff into maybe just the chill R&B poppy type stuff, so. Very cool, well, in the middle of a transition, so I'd love to see some upcoming tours like that thank you, thank you. and anybody who wants to follow you on twitter and facebook and find your music online where can they go um twitter is just johnny craig 4l instagram is johnny uh johnny craig real i think 4l not sure you can always google it you just google it yeah <laughs> Absolutely. or i think it's real johnny craig 4l 
You can okay. Google it. Yeah. And yeah. that's about it. My Facebook is private, so sorry. Oh. All right. Well, thank you so much for hanging out. It's no been problem. really great talking thank to you. you. Great and interview. everybody watching, make sure you check out Johnny Craig. You can get his EP on iTunes right now. And while you're at it, subscribe for more interviews. We'll see you next time. Bye. Peace.